So as we all know, the fine folks over at Line 6 have just recently released their firmware 3.7 for the Line 6 Helix, Helix LT, that whole lineup, the HX Stomps, and a great update it is. They added to a great feature they brought in the firmware 3.5 update, which was the new version 2.0 cab blocks we have with the movable microphones. And this was a massive hit for a lot of folks. So many folks feel it really improved the Helix and gave us so many more possibilities with these great sounding cabs. Well, the great news is in firmware 3.7, we now have even more of these incredible new cabs and some great pairings that pair up with existing amps that we maybe had to utilize legacy cabs or just other cabs that maybe we didn't really want to use, but now we have these great new additions. So we're going to first of all, take a look at in detail at what those are. And then we'll take a look at which amps they can match up with and how we can utilize them within the Helix and just sort of take a quick peek at what they're going to sound like. We're not really going to dial in tones today, but just more here as we pull them up, what the tones are like. So without further ado, let's take a look first and foremost at what these new cabs are. So first off, let's just take a look at the release notes and see what the actual new additions to the cab section are. We have this Supro Ellipse, which is going to pair up beautifully with our Supro amp model that we've had in the Helix for some time. This is captured from the 1x6x9 Supro S6616. We have a 1x8 small tweed captured from a 1/8 inch Fender Champ combo. We have the 112 Fullerton, which is captured from the 112 Fender 5C3 Tweed Deluxe. We have the 112 Cali 4 captured from the 112 Mesa Boogie Mark IV combo. We have the 212 Interstate captured from the 212 Dr. Z Z Best V30 loaded cab. That's a killer cab in real life and in the Helix. What a great addition. We have the 412 Huat 100. A lot of folks can be happy about this one captured from the 412 High Watt AP Fane cabinet. And we have a 412 Greenback 30 captured from a 412 Marshall Basket Weave G12 H30 loaded cab. We also have a couple base cabs, the 215 Dripman captured from the 215 Fender Baseman JBL D130 and the 610 Cali Power captured from the 610 Mesa Boogie Powerhouse. All right, so now that we know what cabs we actually have, let's come into the Helix and I'm just gonna pull up stock settings on the amps that work well with these cabs. We'll take a quick listen to them, maybe swap the mics around a bit and just see what we're working with. I've added just just a dab of dynamic ambience reverb, just so things aren't so bone dry. So I've pulled up the Supro amp and we're gonna utilize, it comes up obviously with the Supro Ellipse cab with the 47 condenser FET mic. Not necessarily my first choice, but we'll hear how this sounds. All stock settings, I haven't touched anything. Kind of quiet here, so let's come in here and give it some channel volume. but I would come in and probably swap this out to a ribbon mic. As so many folks know, it's a real fan of ribbon mics. Can really affect how things sound by choosing a different mic and moving it around on that cab. Really, really killer sounding cab there. Moving on to the US Small Tweed. This is going to pair up with the newly added 1x8 Small Tweed. And this comes up with the 160 ribbon at a position of 2.5 and a distance of three inches. Uh, mic angle at 45 degrees. I, I really like this 160 ribbon. We'll see what this sounds like. And again, I'm just gonna come in here and crank up that channel volume a bit, maybe even add bit of level on that speaker cab. Some really great tones in that US small tweed and this cab is a real killer addition to the Helix and that particular combo. 
Now I've moved over to my Fullerton Norm amp model here, and this is gonna pair up with this new 112 Fullerton cab. It comes up with the seven dynamic mic, the very mic I'm speaking into right now for the voiceover. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> You get that nice full bottom end, but we can actually control that if we so desire. If we're getting too much of that, we can take this low cut in here. Another killer sounding cab. Moving on, I called up the Cali 4 Rhythm 2, which pairs up now with this brand new 112 Cali 4 cab that we have. The 414 condenser is probably not going to be my favorite. Not too bad though. Could control a little bit of low end on that maybe. Again, if I go to some of my favorite mics here. Great sounding cab. Man, what beautiful additions in this update. Moving on to one of my favorite amp models, the Interstate Z. This is the Dr. Z Route 66 amp. And again, what a killer cab. In real life, this Dr. Z Z Bass loaded with vintage 30s, really killer, killer cab. I'm not gonna like this uh, 906 dynamic, I don't think. Not really to my liking, but if I swap that out for one of my ribbons. Very nice and you know bring that distance back a bit. Really, really nice sounding cab. Really bringing a lot more possibilities with these great pairings now. So nice to have the, the sort of proper, or shall I say proper cab along with some of these amps now. Here's one that a lot of folks are probably gonna be very happy with is this 412 Huat 100. Now this has the 57 dynamic on, not my first choice almost ever. I know it's a classic mic, it's just not my favorite. In this particular case, it sounds really nice. Not bad at all, but what happens here if we move that? Let's even try the seven dynamic. Very nice. Again, I'm really digging that ribbon mic on there, that M160. Could be my favorite new cab in the Helix. I really, really liking uh, how this one sounds.
lastly, I'm going to come over to the Brit Trim Norm, which normally loads up with our 412 Greenback 25, but I'm actually going to throw on the 412 Greenback 30. Now this comes up with the 906 Dynamic, probably one of my another one of my least favorite mics. So let's come over and mess with. Well, let's go to the 160 again. I'm going to actually not angle that. Kind of a nice graininess to this that some folks might find kind of abrasive or annoying in the beginning, but I actually kind of like what it's doing. It's kind of a nice thing that could really cut in a mix. So there you have it. There's a quick look at the new guitar cabs we have, and I've got to say I'm not disappointed. Some really beautiful additions. All right, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that sort of in-depth look at the new cabs. At least you know what's there, kind of what they sound like, and how they pair up with some of the amps that they were kind of designed to work with. Another thing I want to let everybody know is any customers of mine from the Line 6 Marketplace, any of these new cabs that kind of pair up nicely with the specific amps they were designed to be with, those presets in the Line 6 marketplace have been updated adding the new cap so you get the original legacy version of the preset you get the 3.5 firmware update version and now i'm adding the third 3.7 update so i will have a list of those below but you can just go straight to the line six marketplace re-download your presets load them up and you've got them there no extra charge just so that you can have some more possibilities some more tonal possibilities and i hope you get some more enjoyment out of them i want to make sure to do that like i did with the 3.5 update so today i'm going to leave you with one of my new three point seven presets from the line six marketplace i do hope you enjoy this i will have the links below to all the new presets that are available as well from everything from the brit 2203 ultimate all the way through all of the line six original amps some really killer stuff in this firmware update and i hope you guys enjoy that the links are all below thanks so much for tuning in and sharing your time with me please like the video share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it also please subscribe to the channel hit the little bell notification to get notified when i put new content out i'll be back really soon with some more thank you guys again so so much for tuning in ciao for now